Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this edition we're going to look at um, adjusting a diode laser setup. So here we have a 1 watt laser diode. We have a laser, laser diode driver. And really the focus of this is going to be this little unit here. I picked this up off of eBay. There'll be uh, links below to it. Um, but uh, the interesting thing about this is this allows us to um, adjust voltage and measure current as well as uh, adjust the current over here going to the laser diode. So, um, because one of the things I was really looking for was an effective way of, of setting up and measuring the current uh, flowing out without using a shunt or something like that. So what we have is our old trusty Radio Shack 12 volt power supply. We have uh, this power unit from eBay and basically we have the 12 volts coming in and we have an adjustable voltage going out. Now basically this will run a gambit of voltages I believe from about 7.2 up to around 12 or I've read even higher on others but uh, I don't know that for sure higher but it's, it's and I do know it's rated in those voltage schemas. So basically, we have our safety, our safety goggles on. We've got the laser set up here, aiming, <coughs> excuse me, at a target. So when we power this on, we basically see we have this now set. Um, and I've got this set out of the focal range of this, so it's just acting as a target. So basically, we see this is now at 12 volts, and this laser is drawing a little over one amp. So now what we can do is we can adjust this uh, diode and so see we're adjusting it down and we can watch the effects of it or we can adjust the diode up and you can see as we adjust the laser driver. So this is allowing us to set the laser driver um, you know, to meet our needs. Now you'll notice that there's a little bit of fluctuation for it to, to stabilize in. And, and I think part of the situation is this fine-tuned potentiometer here um, is, is probably not the best quality in the world. And so that's why we're getting some of this where it's skipping windings, I'm guessing. Because you can see it's making a pretty good set of jumps. Now, in playing with this, I found that it has several sweet spots as it starts to get above an amp. So again, we, we can set the amount of current going and we can also monitor the current. Now, on this, we can also change the voltages because we also have adjustments on this to where we can change the voltages. So obviously, well, the, the output of this, since it's supposed to be uh, emulating a car, is it goes up to 13. But again, we can adjust this uh, itself off of here. And there's two pots. Uh, so as you can see, we're adjusting down the voltage. So we can adjust the voltage output of this. And, you know, so we can actually take this down. Let's actually take this down. Because you notice as we adjust the voltage down, the current is, is going up. It's drawing more current to make up for the loss in voltage. So this this is your, your trade-off. And as watch as we go up... Um, back up to 12 volts. See the current, hopefully you can see this, my arm is not in the way because the tripod, I'm kind of reaching around it. But as I, as I start going up in voltage, and again, you know, this is back to, you know, voltage times current equals wattage. So to maintain that wattage, so it allows us to adjust this. So I think, I believe, I believe this one in, in, the, in the pot is the coarse and fine adjustment uh, to this. But uh, you know, as you can see here, again, we can adjust this up and uh, it's hard to see with these laser glasses on getting it in there. Uh, but anyways, we'll take this back up to 12 volts, 12 volts even. Um, So and you can see the V and the A. So uh, again, it's for the voltage. It's reading, I think, to to one resol one decimal resolution, and for current, it's leading to two decimals of resolution uh, in this. And you can see it kind of fluctuating at this uh, output. 
and, and again, you know, if we move, again, I got to reach around the tripod. So if we, uh, unfortunately, we have to bring it rather close in, but, you know, to bring it to a focus because with this beam, and then it readily burns. So again, you can set the adjustment. Now, these are actually around just around 10 bucks. So hugely cheap for, for what you're getting in this unit. So one of the things I'm going to do is build up a 3D case for this. Um, and uh, I'll put it out on Thingiverse and on the website when I get that finished. But the idea of this is I'm going to mount this right on the machine because this is going to go, uh, not this particular laser, but this end product is going to go on our 2 watt laser diode cutter. And this is going to be the control panel on the front so I can monitor the voltage output to the laser and actually adjust and control uh, the laser settings. And then also as I'm doing pulse width modulation to this unit, uh, I'll be able to watch the current change here, or should be able to, as I get different current outputs on the, the laser with the pulse width modulation for the engraving versus uh, cutting activity. So anyways, I wanted to share this because this is, uh, I, I think, been really, really cool for, for the money and how cheap this is. And again, um, I, I think what I'm going to actually do is uh, build up a bit of a benchtop power supply with with one or two of these so I'm going to have um, uh, maybe you know get like a 24 volt power supply DC power supply and then feed it into uh, probably two or three of these and then have outputs from the two or three of them because they're, again they're so cheap and they're around 10 bucks a piece you know so for the cost of about 50 bucks I can have you know a 24 volt power supply feed three of these and get three different uh, voltage outputs and again you know I'll get a large enough power supply uh, to have a proper amount of current so again I can I can have one set at like 12 I can have one set at 5 and I can have one set at 3 or whatever and adjust them as I need it for different projects and again I just love this current meter on here so uh, because one of the other things that I'm doing is is working on a 500 milliwatt laser uh, diode cutter uh, I think uh, uh, 420 or something like that nanometer unit uh, it was in a prior video the uh, the driver burned out I ordered a new driver um, and waiting for them to come in from China but again I'm gonna front end this so I can control the power output into that driver and again monitor it and so uh, I think this would just be really cool because again one of the things I'm also thinking about with the um, 2 watt laser diode cutter I've been working on the larger scale version is having uh, changeable heads so I can put in say the 500 milliwatt for a certain task, the 2 watt for another task and then just vary between the different tasks so uh, again it's really interesting. I think I'm also going to incorporate one of these because I did order a couple and I think I'm going to order a couple more to integrate with my Arduino project breadboard too uh, for powering different stepper motor configurations and that and again, I think this would be really cool because I'd be able to control the voltage, see the current output, or, you know, the current draw of the circuit with the stepper motors, etc. I'm just kind of curious. And it's still pretty cool. Fans running. Um, laser driver. Yeah, it's getting a little bit warm, but not too bad yet. I can still hold on to it. Um, so anyways, uh, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, again, really wanted to share this. This is, it was a great find. And so I have links on the website, uh, too, for this, to, to the eBay uh, seller of this. So uh, if this was helpful, please like below. It's free. It helps us really make more of these videos. Um, and then also subscribe to the channel because a lot more of this stuff with regards to laser cutting, 3D printing, CNC machining, uh, Tinkercad, OpenSCAD tutorials. We're going to be working on all these things in the future. Basically, uh, we're going to be focusing on, you know, uh, home or small scale fabrication as I like to call it. I, I really have a strong belief that cottage industry is building up around um, selling uh, you know small fabricated custom objects. I think Etsy is a great example of, of this. So uh, anyways stay tuned, subscribe, like below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.